So if you watched the speed paint on my two Warriors OCs, Sunny and Blossom, you'd be familiar with the fact that I'm currently working on my own Warriors AU. As of now, I plan to make it into a fanfiction first, and then once that's out, I'll be turning it into a comic, which I will consider as the final and more polished product. Additionally, I would like to say that I've recently done a lot of reworking of the story and do not consider a lot of things from that last video canon anymore. So I ask all of you to not take it as canon as of this video. The story is still in development and everything is subject to change. If you haven't watched the previous video, I'd recommend recommend that you still go and do that, but I'll summarize the plot anyway. The Burning Light is a story that takes place in an alternate universe where Scourge kills Firestar in the Darkest Hour, thus causing many things in the Warriors universe to change. Thirty years later, Blood Clan still exists, has majorly expanded, and the clans live in constant fear of Blood Clan coming to take their new territories, just like they did with the old one. The two main protagonists, Sunny and Blossom, are two young cats who had lived in Blood Clan territory basically their entire lives before they were ambushed by a group of guardians. The guardians serve as Blood Clan's law enforcement, and cats raised in Blood Clan work their entire lives for the chance to become one. It's because of this attack that Sunny and Blossom are separated from their parental figure, Ahi, and they were forced to leave the home they'd lived in their entire lives. They found the clans and were let into Thunder Clan, however, every day they live in fear of Blood Clan tracking them down because as the both of them know very well, Blood Clan never forgets. Hopefully that was easy enough to understand. In this video, I'll be drawing the current leaders as well as the deputies of the four forest clans, so I'll get started. Morningstar is the leader of Thunder Clan. She's 52 months old, making her the youngest and most recently appointed leader of the clans. She's the daughter of two Thunder Clan warriors named Ember Fang and Renflight, alongside her littermates, Poppy Fern and Branchpaw. When they were young apprentices, both her father, Ember Fang, and her brother, Branchpaw, died in battle, which resulted in her growing cold and distant towards her clanmates. Her mother died of green cough not long after, and it was because of this that she went to the warrior Firestrike for comfort. The two would go on to become mates and have a litter of kits together who are named Sandstone, Red Frost, and Maple Bride. Those kits are currently the youngest warriors in ThunderClan. She's a calm cat, although I'm not sure if I'd exactly call her reasonable. She loves her family more than anything, but when you're the leader of a whole clan, it can be kind of a negative to care that much about your family compared to everyone else. If something were to happen to Firestrike or one of her kits, she would do whatever it took to avenge them and receive closure in her mind, but she wouldn't react the same if that happened to another one of her clanmates. She tries her best to ensure that the entirety of her clan is safe and protected, but I'm not sure if she's entirely aware of her family favoritism towards her family yet. I would go into more detail about her past and how exactly she became leader, but that's a story I want to save for the future since at the moment I have plans to actually write a mini fanfic about her entire backstory, so I'll leave things more vague with her. Morningstar's deputy is Ridgefang, a 70-month-old tomcat who's a senior ThunderClan warrior. He was a young warrior by the time Morningstar was born, and so she grew up with him as someone to look up to. She always found him a strong and reliable guy, and since he was eligible for the position, she elected him deputy when she first became leader. Ridgefang is a very kind, friendly, and well-liked guy in ThunderClan, and all the clans expect for him to be a great leader if he ever does succeed Morningstar. He's the son of ThunderClan's most senior warriors, Nightsong and Rainstone, and he has two littermates, Vixen Leap and Spiderfang, who he has a pretty close relationship with. He's mates with a warrior named Shallowstream who's a bit older than he is, and they have two five-month-old kittens named Blizzard Kit and Willow Kit. On top of that, he actually has an adopted daughter named Pinepaw, who if you remember I briefly mentioned in the last Burning Light video I did. Because of the fact that she has no living family in ThunderClan, he took her in as his own, although I don't think she ever grew a relationship with Shallowstream or his kits. He's now Pinepaw's mentor and the two are bonded very closely with each other. Bristlestar is the leader of Shadow Clan, and like her name implies, she's spiky. Very, very spiky in basically every single possible way. She's 96 months old, which makes her the second oldest leader, and she's served as Shadow Clan's leader for about four years now. She's the daughter of the elder Frog Pad, alongside her two littermates, Smokefang and Fleetnose. Smokefang is the healer of Shadow Clan, while Fleetnose is just a senior warrior. I plan on making full videos going into the healers as well as the casts of all the clans. I'll go more detail about Fleetnose and any other side characters that I mention in the future. Bristlestar succeeded the previous leader, Mothstar, who served 
served as Shadow Clan's leader for a very long time. She's a very competitive character, and she constantly feels the need to prove that her clan is strong. Any sign of weakness is hidden, and she'll go out of her way to punish cats in her clan if they reveal said weakness. Of the leaders in The Burning Light, she's the one who's gone through the most changes. Originally, she was Mothstar, and I think I just made her Bristlestar instead so she could be a more exciting character. I don't remember Mothstar's personality, but I do know Bristlestar's, and I think that helps that her name basically sums up her personality pretty well. She's very prickly. Crescent Pell is the Shadow Clan deputy, and he's 106 months old. He's the son of the Shadow Clan elder Applefern, and he has two littermates named Sleek Creek and Yellow Moon, who are both senior warriors. There isn't a whole lot I can really say about him since he's not a very prominent character, but his main trait is that he's very loyal to Bristlestar specifically. If Bristlestar gives an order, he'll follow through with it, regardless if he disagrees or if anyone tries to argue. He fully believes that his leader's word is law, which makes him very easy to make fun of in the eyes of a lot of cats within both Shadow Clan and outside. I created him as a character when I was rebooting things for the series about two years ago, I think. He was originally named Dark Pelt, but then I decided to change his name while I was actually working on this video. His name is now Crescent Pelt, as I've mentioned, because I thought his original name was a little boring. <laughs> I'm viewing the series where I go through all of my Burning Light characters as a way to solidify the characters because I feel like I have a long way to go before the story is ready to be complete. The Wing Clan leader is Dawnstar. She's 172 months old, making her not only the oldest leader, but the oldest living cat in all of the clans. Since she's so old, she has no living relatives and never had kits of her own, but I don't think that bothers her too much. To Dawnstar, Wind Clan as a whole is her family, and she absolutely adores being a mentor. Even though she's old and is also the leader of the clan, she is constantly mentoring cats in the clan, most prominently the younger warriors Holly Hart and Rain Sky. She's a silly old lady who's widely liked by all the clans, hardly confrontational, and has kept her clan safe and out of harm's way for basically her entire leadership. She's always been around in the story and is probably the character in this video who has changed the least, and I'm not entirely sure why. Weasel Mask is the Wind Clan deputy. He's 117 months old, which makes him the oldest of the clan deputies. He would have been made deputy around a year before the Burning Light starts, approximately when the prologue is planned to take place. He's a senior warrior of Wind Clan and is the father to three kits, Rose Dapple, Bumble Branch, and Gorseberry. His daughter, Rose Dapple, is the healer of Wind Clan, while his two sons, Bumble Branch and Gorseberry, are both senior warriors. Bumble Branch is the father to two younger warriors in the clan, Cherry Wing and Holly Hart, who I mentioned before when I was talking about Dawnstar. Weasel Mask, just like Crescent Pelt, isn't very important to the story story, and they both had a name change while I was working on this video. His original name, Ravenhawk, I didn't think suited him very well. He doesn't exactly look like he should be named Raven. Originally, his place in the story was taken up by a cat named Stone Scratch, who, for whatever reason, while I was reworking the story, I ended up removing. Maybe someday Stone Scratch can be brought back into the story, maybe in a prequel or a sequel, but until then, he'll just stay as a removed character.
Pikestar is a leader of River Clan. He's 54 months old, making him the second youngest leader since he's two months older than Morningstar. He became leader before Morningstar did, although I haven't decided how much time passed in between him becoming leader and her becoming leader, though. The most interesting thing about him is that he's actually half clan. In the Burning Light, it's not forbidden for cats between clans to have relationships with each other or have kits, mostly just to help avoid any incest between the clans. Plus, I think we can all agree that that rule was just always stupid and... <sighs> The new books, getting rid of it, is such... Ugh, I love that they've gotten rid of it. On top of Pikestar being half-clan, both of his parents were actually clan leaders. His father, Tiny Star, was once the leader of ThunderClan, and Sunstar was the leader of RiverClan. By the time that Pikestar was born, the love between the two leaders dwindled and they were no longer in a relationship. Tiny Star took their daughter, Dapplekit, into ThunderClan to be raised while Sunstar kept her two sons, Pikekit and Squirrelkit. Even though they were raised in different clans, Pikestar and his brother, Squirrelleaf, were still able to get to know their sister, Dapplemoon, and they're a very close-knit group of siblings for that reason. Pike Star, or Pike Claw, since that was his warrior name, received his first apprentice as a very young warrior, and almost immediately after that, his mom made him deputy. And only three months after that, his mom, Sunstar, died, which made him the leader. Basically, the entire clan agrees that Pike Star only got where he was because of Sunstar, and he actually agrees. Pike Star was only 27 months old when he became leader, and was nowhere near ready to lead an entire clan, but he put his worries aside and vows to be the best leader that he can be. Even though basically everything was stacked against him from the beginning, he's actually a very good leader. He's a pretty rational guy, and even though RiverClan as a whole wasn't a fan of him becoming leader this young, he's widely liked because of this. Pikestar has a bit of a rivalry going on with Bristlestar, ShadowClan's leader, but it's not anything that could lead to a war between the two clans. Iceheart is Pikestar's deputy. She's 51 months old, making her around the same age as Pikestar, and that is exactly why he picked her for the position. She only became deputy recently, but Pikestar felt that he could have a stronger bond and trust with someone his own age, and even though he's a very peaceful guy, he knows he's intimidating, and he wants his deputy to have that same image. Iceheart was born to the senior warriors, Bramble Blaze and Fleetheart, alongside her three litter mates, Shelltooth, Lycan Slip, and Missile Splash. She mentored the young warrior Lizard Jaw and was elected deputy around the same time that the Burning Light begins. She's a very cold character. She rarely ever shows emotions and makes sure she looks as intimidating as possible at all times. In The Burning Light, she's actually always been the RiverClan deputy for as long as I've been working on the story. The only time she changed was actually while I was working on this video. I changed her from being a very, very light silver color to being a more blue-gray so that her white markings would pop more. Aside from that, she's basically always been a part of the series, though not a very important character. And that's all the leaders and deputies. I hope you all enjoyed this video, and um, I'm trying to upload weekly now, so if everything goes right, expect the next Splash Clan video up next week.